We find ourselves here at Doki Doki Literature Club again. Somehow we thought we beat it. I thought we beat it. Did I you thought think we, that? I thought we ditched this wretched game once and for all, but we, we're back. Come on. You have to go back to see these cute little girls again. How can you? How could you not want to do that? But now it's actually more than that meets the eye, apparently. So there's a lot going on. You can actually interpret a lot just from the landing page here. Seems Monica has corrupted Mrs. Sayori, who, who unfortunately, if you didn't see the last episode, is no longer with us. Rest in peace, Sayori. Drop it down below in the comments. Rest in peace, Sayori. Now, and do this emoji. So. And honestly, good riddance because she was kind of annoying. And I get, well, this is where we left off? No. Writing a poem? Yeah, it was. We clicked around and remember that? You're speedrunning Doki Doki, dude. Careful, 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 careful. We don't have enough members yet. Remember Monaco is like trying to get us in the club again? It's like everyone forgot Sayori existed. We know you guys. Why are you guys pretending like you don't know us? Where is Sayori? Where is she? This is some sick joke. We could start here. You want to start here? Um, sure. I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna open my eyes and trust that you made the right decision. Three, two, one. Oh God. Oh my God, it's the one game. of those puzzles on like the windows. The slider puzzles? I hate those slider <laughs> so puzzles. So hard. Oh, we have to do it. Slide. Slide? Whoa. Oh. Cha-cha slide? Wait. Okay. Wait, we have to make a poem? I thought we were re I thought we were handed a poem by a mysterious person. Now now there were two. So now we get to pick who we want next. Does it mean the one that we chase is the one that dies? Because that's not what happened. We chased Yuri and Sayori caught astray. So now let's go for Natsuki so that she dies so that we're left with Yuri in the end. But if we chase Yuri, then she doesn't die. Last time we chased her, she didn't die. Wait. Is that how that works? That, that's how it works. The girls you chase don't die the girls you don't chase end up dying you have to attract women you don't chase them work on your own garden give her a little nibble the butterflies will come oh dang it no we want yuri we want yuri so she was ambient she was ambient i remember that yeah mm, very <laughs> contamination she, yeah because when she ate our blood we could have gotten contaminated exactly bed mm -hmm. i hope so bed yeah hope soon oh mm. dang it bubbles dang it i always think bubbles is for her for some reason isn't Bubbles one of Oliver's pop personalities? No, it's not. Oh, there should be one. And also, it's not Oliver. It's the Wonderland system. The Wonderland Wonderland. <laughs> Wonderland. Inferno? Unending. Oh, Unending? yeah. Possibly. What I'm curious is some of these were actually for Sayori. So are we just parsing them up? Are we? Yeah, cause... now they kind of apply to both people. Maybe anger, so. maybe together. Dang it. Wow. Horror? Okay. She loves horror I think movies. overall, we got mostly Yuri. Oh, I kind of missed this, man. <laughs> Is that weird? You miss it? Go for it, bro. Hi, <laughs> oh, sh oh, also, <laughs> should we acknowledge who's in the, <laughs> the room next to us? You can't. It's your right to, up to your discretion. My parents are visiting this weekend, and my dad is in the other room right now, and he's going to hear it. He's going to witness all of this right now. So, Are you going to hold back due to that? I'm not. Here we go. Hi again, Yoha Cat. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'm back at the literature club, so this has been acknowledged, I think. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Dang. See, so many people were saying we were missing out on this stuff. Also, some fake news. Wait, we, we are just clueless. We don't know what's going on and still do not. Right? Unless you know something well, I don't. Well, all I know, all I know is that the game gets dark. And I only know that because of what's transpired. And also just, you could tell, like, things were weird leading up. Like, the blood sucking, just, like, little words that people would say. Yeah. And, like, why is in the poem and stuff like that? Like, yes. that stuff weird. Yes. That's weird stuff. So, now I know that it's like that. Now I can, I can expect Yuri to have no face. See, you what thought you could expect, but there's expect the unexpected. Also, look how slanted the camera is. Ah! No, man. Expect the unexpected. Don't. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment to you. Making you dive headfirst into literature club when you're not accustomed to- Wait! She doesn't die in this world. Also, are you noticing something really weird about this? Is like, look how close she is. Yeah. She's even closer. And the camera's kind of like tilted I a little bit. I just said that. You said that? I just said that. Really? Yes, man. I feel like I'm not being listened to. Wait. But... So... <laughs> where... <laughs> So we just like, when we weren't recording, we just clicked a bunch. Oh. We just spammed. And I think we actually missed some context here. What's the context of this? The context is that we're back. Oh, we're back again. Back with friends. Back to the literature club. No end. There's no end to having all our friends and reading till there's no end. Yes. But also. Okay, oh what God. is going on? I don't want to continue because it's kind of scaring me a little bit. 
Well, it just restarted the game is what it did, but without Sayori is what, what just happened. And a world without Sayori is a scary world. Right. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged in here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Wait, is this real? Natsuki, you're meaner than usual. Wait, how Whoa! is Monica? I can't read! Monica, get out of the freaking text. Whoa. Big mouth. You have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Again, I remember this. Manga is literature. It is. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, well I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. I, uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Okay, uh, back with her antics again, though. Ugh. You can't, you can't have it all, you know? I thought maybe she'd come back with a better personality. No, but she came out back with the same hair. I want to try to be a part of this club. I really actually do. So even if I don't read often, I'd happily pick up a book if you want me to. I just feel like... Well, as vice president and all... Was she always that, vice president? Yeah, I don't know, this is new. That I should help you get started on something you might like. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. <laughs> wow. I do remember saying that before. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. How is this girl accidentally being so <laughs> cute? Oh no, he's falling for it again. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I would look forward to hearing what you, what you think. Not, now that everything is settled, I expected Monica to kick off some sort of scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like a book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet, our eyes meet for a split second. I'm just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, my, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. Girl, we, Same I've, I've seen this before. Yeah. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Like what? It does. It seriously. really does. And it's just this kind of story. <laughs> it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. What? Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Whoa. What Whoa! just happened? And, and I didn't do that. That was like... That was, uh... I think I'm getting possessed. Ah. You keep trying to get me, Martin. You gotta put more in- ah! But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, my whole body gets- Whoa. Are you clicking or is it I'm skipping? not. Oh, gross. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Huh? True. Ah! That's- Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well start reading it, right? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly is he, is he aware of any of this that's happening? The glitching? Yeah. How is he not seeing what we're seeing? I am... There's so many unanswered questions. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. She... And it looks like she's reading from my book instead. S -s 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 Sorry. I was just bathing the feeling of your... Why? Whoa, whoa. Dude. She's bathing in us? That's She's, not bad. You know what that is? It's just dirty thoughts. Intrusive. So, so this intrusive. time around, I think you're, yeah, intrusive. And I think Yuri's actually a little bit more co like confident. So she's saying these little things now. We let the freak -a leak out. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. <laughs> then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a little, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right arm to hold the book open. Uh, I guess this makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. That's the scene. This is the cutscene. Yuri takes her left arm and holds it to the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Thumb and forefinger. She's Korean. Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character reminds me of you a little bit. Uh, oh my god, look at her face! 
<laughs> I does that happen before? I don't too? know. Everything looks different. It's like where's Waldo in a way? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking, the way she second guesses everything she says and all that. <laughs> That's what you were talking about. Sorry. Oh. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? <laughs> Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Yeah, it was not like yeah, this. Yeah, she's so much more creepier this time around. Yeah. I don't know if I like Yuri anymore. Ew, and she does this face. That's okay. I'll take that. Or also her ear is really small. It's Yuri. like when you start to get icked out by someone, you start paying you attention everything. to these little details and you're like, mm-mm. <laughs> you can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? I love the That's what it is, do. is when you get annoyed by, by someone's breathing. Their breath pisses you off mm. and it's over. Yuri mm -mm. puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right. Don't push yourself. We're just reading. Like, what the hell is going on? I know. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out the classroom. What on earth was that on? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, what is it about? Yoha cat? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, God. Monica's even creepier, honestly. Yuri was acting strange, I guess. Yes, she's so freaky. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. Why am I doing Okay, both? like, Monica, what? who are you, and why are you inserting yourself in everyone's business? And her hands are closed-fisted. I don't recall that. That is This is what group leaders are like, truly. If you've ever encountered one, they're always, flip. they always, like, flip and make sure that, they're, that their someone, pack is safe. Someone has to do that, you know? Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd start without her. Is that okay? Well, we wrote it for her. Yeah, you're right. Dude, we can't even read it to freaking Yuri. Oh, dude. Dun da da da. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we should have been saving all the time. We yeah, we up. messed up. We really screwed up with that one. Cause, Big time. Because we could have saved it and reloaded and. Yuri would have been a Sayori would have been alive. alive. Yeah. Let's do Natsuki. I look you miss her and talking to her. What's she up to? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. It's a that's a little blunt. Hey, that's a little blunt. That's what Jay Z says. That's what I say. That's what uh. That's what Snoop I say Dogg when you says. roll up. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. <laughs> tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Ouch. What the? Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh my god, this oh, one again. This, this is fun. <laughs> Wait. This wasn't hers. This yes. was Sayori's last time, I no, swear. No, 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 no. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, we read it. Click let us out, let us out. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated oh, and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't the point of the people for them to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make any less message if it was any less valid. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Yeah. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? And the then youngest. we're reminded of her youth. I don't really care how old everyone is, but... Monica! By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new okay. activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Okay. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid of <laughs> Too real. I hand Monica my poem. Mm, great job, Yoha Cat. Thanks. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. Ooh. <laughs> she was reading it going, ooh. I'm going to start saying that. It'd be full of like, ooh. someone's trying to put me onto a song. I'm like, dude, literally going, ooh, in my head when I was hearing that. Like, it was good. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, Dude, right? what the hell? Deja vu? I do, and I, where is she? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. reality. I, I don't, don't mean, mean that, that like it's a bad, bad thing, thing though. though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. Whoa. She spends so much time in her head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! 
I'm back. Did I miss anything? Well, we all started sharing our poems with, e with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Oh, it's the one. Okay, this one was pretty fire. Maybe there's something new in the bottom. I panic. Yeah, it's the same. No, this is all new. Oh my god. Why? What are it's you It's just the that's title new? that's the same. It's all different. Because the uh, last one, he was looking through a keyhole the whole time. Oh, you're right! But he was holding... Because this is a continuation of it. Oh. Because she got really scared. But this one continues. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance around at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see colors. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling, playing tricks on me. My ears. On me ears. On me ears. <laughs> The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right here. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. She's gonna stab him with a pen. The power of literature. A picture's worth a million words, and a photo and a pen is worth a million cuts. Hmm, it's very reform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Aha! <laughs> it's okay! Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing right. between world, word, word, world. Mm, mm, mm. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Hmm. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. True. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Yes. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. That's like the first actual- That's actually a really good tip, Monica. I really appreciate that. Okay, Yuri's- uh, Finally, Woo! we get to show our poem to Yuri. I'm not- I'm apprehensive now, though. I was excited. She is a little bit weird now, but it's okay. Exceptional! Uh, what was that? Uh, did, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth and then ends up covering her whole face. Hi! Ooh. He's gonna hate me. Um, you really didn't need, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? <laughs> She's That's, so weird, oh I my know. god. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. Huge compliments coming from you. Whoa, this is actually my first time, really. It's not, though, so we just lied. It's okay. Sometimes a little fib. But that doesn't exist in this world. They don't know that Sayori used to be alive. <laughs> remember Sayori. Just remember, remember her, Sayori. please. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri... Dude, seriously? Sorry, sorry. Once Pay attention, you... this is the girl that you love. Right. I also hope that everyone else in the clubs gives you valuable feedback. So nice. Natsuki's can be... <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! Ghost under the light. The tendrils. I remember the word tendrils. Yeah, we've yeah, done this we've one. Done this we've one, done yeah. this one. Yeah. Tell her that. Hey, Yuri, we've done this one. Yes. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. And it's like perfect cursive. I, I hate when no. I hate this. Oh! What? I wasn't even thinking of that at all. You're beautiful. Aww. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, it's always eh, eh. I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Yoha Cat. Uh, me too? Oh man, such awkward interactions. Only because we've literally done this before. I guess that's everyone. No, it's not. You're missing one. <sighs> you left her hanging. <laughs> too soon. No, no, too soon. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. You think I'm cute? 
Ew, I'm not cute. <laughs> it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can I be cute? I'm not cute. <laughs> I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try it hard for it to come up with something nice to say? That's but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it. And Yohaka did too. Oh my god, I'm having trauma remembering this. So based on that, I would gladly give you some suggestions of my own, actually. Damn! Yeah, let's yeah go. clock or tea. Oh, yeah, let's clock go. or Come tea. On. Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. The way, the way she's responding is like the, I'll pass on the back shots. I'm trying to focus <laughs> on my, like, what is this, like? Which I haven't yet. <laughs> now, she always eats with that line. I've seen this before. It eats every time. <laughs> and Yohaka liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> eh? That's not what I... Huh? You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Oh, I like this sound. Maybe you're just jealous that Yoha Cat appreciates my advice more than you appreciated yours. Uh, how do you know he wouldn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way and make everything I do overly oh, cutesy. Oh, this one. Ooh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who so. Oh, yes. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Yoha Cat starts showing up. And I could have sworn the second time around they're even bigger. Bigger, yeah, because we showed up again, so she increased the size. Keep going. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! Oh man, takes me back. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Whoa. It's a sped version. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me, look who's talking. You wanna be edgy. Edgy? Edge? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. I hate this. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! See? Enough! I just want to just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves by graduating middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Whoa. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa. Be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh. My bad, you already did. You already do, don't you? What? Did did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Whoa, that felt weird. Uh, I don't like that. No, you're here, you're there. Let your cat hear everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be head over heels for you after this. Yoha cat? She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Whoa, 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 I can't read! Why does it go so fast? Why what not? if we went in with Natsuki? Because you're already getting mad, it was kind of hot. <laughs> what? I wish you didn't say that. Let's save and go back to when you didn't say that. <laughs> can't. There's no option for that. <laughs> pick one, pick one. Natsuki's freaking me out. Well, in this scenario, Natsuki was a little bit more normal. Yeah. Though. yeah. Or actually, no. No. Because eh. she pulled out the deepest, darkest True. Fruits. And that's like, you Very don't. Very like, mean. You don't do that. So we like Yuri. I guess so. In for an ounce, in, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yuri. What? Yuri. I want Yuri. I want Yuri! Okay, what dude, the you have hell? to say it. One, two, three. I, Yuri. Want Yuri. I want Yuri! Wait, we messed it up. One, two, three. I, I want, want Yuri. Yuri! One, two, three. I, I want, want Yuri. Yuri! One, two, three. I, I want, want Yuri. Yuri! Oh, it's zooming into. I didn't even realize that. I want Natsuki. Oh, I want Monica. Monica? Hey, Yoha Cat, why don't we step outside for a little? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better us for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little bit more assertive sometimes. But I never had have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand that, right? Anyway, 
If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Wait, we can get Monica now? Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh my gosh, she's oh, crying. No. That's messed up. She's crying because we didn't pick her. I hate when girls cry. Dang it. Oh, oh dear. dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I also don't like how she tries to be, like, cool about it. That's creepy. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her in, on her desk with her palms on her forehead? forehead. Wait, I didn't mean it, and she ran out crying. She probably hit her. But I, she's holding her forehead. I Yuri, I think Yuri's abusive. She's pits her. She got them hands. Yuri? I didn't mean it. Yeah, that's a new look. We never got that one. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Yeah, yeah, she did something for sure. Yo, a cat, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about this by tomorrow. Because she has a freaking concussion, probably. <laughs> Completely. Oh, no, she's going to wipe her brain. Anyway, meeting adjourned. So you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I'll be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Damn. She's, she's in control the boss. somehow, yeah. some way. Oh! Wow. I'm that, vice president. This Ooh. is not good. This is not what you say. This is not what you say in ooh, this situation. Ooh, ooh. I'm scared for her. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Yohekat. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing any trouble, but I really... Back at the drawing board. What the hell? Chocolate. This game is scary. It's good to have some fun music back. Yeah, the music's back. Aura, Aura. She has so much aura. She has aura. Yeah put her in a cage so we can have her all to ourselves tragedy is something that my heart feels right now yeah misfortune has been bestowed upon us yep melancholy is what i feel loki mm, honestly very secretive we don't mm. know really what's going on it's true incongruent that's yeah she's incongruent she's flipping the sensory sensory Okay. Oh, wait! You missed that! What was it? What was it? It was a little Easter egg. What was it? She jumped and her eyes were ablaze. Whoa. Maybe it was like a really good one. Let's see. Focus on it again. Okay. Try Let's to get, try to really get something. Do on misery. Or misery, yeah. Watch. Misery loves company? No, man. Meager. Meager. That's a good one. What, what does that mean? What a weird word. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back, Yoha Cat. Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Natsuki is reading manga at the desk. Okay, so things are normal. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm, pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. Pause. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday, and maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Yeah, maybe usually that, when you that, share it for the first time like that, you start like going crazy. Well, it's emotional. It's an emotional thing, and emotions it's come out. and purging, kind of, of your soul. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. Don't do that. Very quick assumption. Yeah, don't do that. People can be surprising. People can switch up. It's a lot of people switch up. Unfortunately. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. She's even. They make me a little too happy. What the fuck? <laughs> Have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. And I was also worried, wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but get worried a little bit. Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise, I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll try do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? 
Whoa. So she really forgot, forgot. She slapped her up. Oh, man. No, and I heard Monica. Yeah, Monica did something to her, yeah. to Natsuki. Eh? Jeez. What is even on your mind? I'm sure it was nothing. Oh, we can finally read one of these. Whatever was on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. That's Natsuki saying that. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Well, this is just the thing when like girls have like maybe a little bit of a deeper voice than usual. They kind of sometimes... The subcontext is like a demon possessed her. I think it's a little more... I'll accept your apology anyway if it makes you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Oh my gosh. Man. I wish I could restart sometimes with friendships like this. So then you want me to forget about slushy noobs and everything? Whenever I make a mistake and say the wrong thing to you, yeah. N no, not at all. N no, 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 no. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry. I'm super sorry. What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. <sighs> Don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while now, but I'm still not really good at it yet. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Yoha Cat. Monica smiles sweetly. She okay, is, she she's is so sweet. sweet. She's like very yeah. sweet. She's yeah. creepy at times, but sweet as yeah. well. Like a Sour Patch Kid. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up that the three of us, what the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has really run off into the closet. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Let's find a place to sit. Uh, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls out a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh, the Not tea. at all. When she busts out the tea, you know what's going down. <laughs> Yuri stands up and makes her way into the closet. I follow and I watch as she receives, retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. That kind of has a filter inside. What? <laughs> How big is this closet? Yeah, right. Everything in it, and Suki's chilling in there. Like... <laughs> I would like that. I don't even have a closet of my own IRL. Thanks. I'll be right back. Yeah, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Wait. We went with her last time, didn't we? Maybe it's because she put some in that water, bro. You think Yuri would do that to us? Well, she's not letting us. Last time we tried to walk with her and Monica stopped it. No, we we've went, never... but then Monica caught us and was like, hey, why but would you guys go together? But we've never seen the water, we've never seen the water pouring. True. Did Yuri leave you again? She was just filling the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Dude, she's so scary. Like, she's like sweet, but a psycho. Oh, she's oh, sweet, but a- 10 minutes pass. 10 minutes to fill up water is too much. Yuri said it wouldn't take so long. It's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh god. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Uh, New character unlocked. Uh, 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 uh. What's that <laughs> noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. I reach around the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yuri? What the what hell? What the heck? Kya? Are you clicking? No. Man. Weird. Okay. Let's pretend like it didn't happen. All right. Thanks for waiting so patiently. Yoha Cat, do you like oolong tea? <laughs> yeah, I do. Anything is fine. 
Very well. I watched Yuri pour up a cup of tea for each of us. <clears throat> Yo, Hakat, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. Oh, because of her. Now we're just... Maybe we can say that? Go I on. can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. <laughs> it's most likely because my... Boobs. Say it. Ah, uh, my, 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 your posture, right? <clears throat> Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. Oh, we yeah, yeah, we've yeah. eaten chocolate, yes. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course! Oh, man. It's all worth it. Yeah, you true. Know, at the end of the day. Yeah, all this chaos, all this nightmare, all this stuff, like, it's okay, it's this fine. This is the perfect girl. Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. Wait! We're gonna if I remember nervous. correctly, Monica's gonna block us, but maybe yes. this time around, maybe we get to. Do what? Do something. Let's see. Maybe put chocolate somewhere else. What? I apprehensively put the chocolate in her mouth. So cute. And just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needed to confirm what just happened. Um... Yo, what, cat? So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. <laughs> and suddenly, Yuri focus... Forcefully grabs... This is new! Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Like, we stand up together? Jerks me? My teacup gets knocked over. It's an innuendo for something. Yoha Cat. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Yoha Cat. I can't calm down. I can't focus on if anything anymore. If she's not anymore. like this, then yeah. Then I don't want her. Yeah. Can you feel it, Yoha Cat? Yes. Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Ooh la la. Why is this happening to me? Can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Yeah. Oh, whoa, her eyes. Why are her eyes so realistic? Ah. Uh, they took her mascara. Oh my god, she's she's doing that breathing thing what she was doing earlier. Wim Hof? Uh, oh, yes, when she was cutting herself. Hello. How? Why? Who invited okay. your freaking... Once, shame on you. Twice, shame on me for even thinking I could get here. <laughs> it's time to share poems. Ugh. Bro. Top 10 worst things you could say when I'm about to get laid. Oh, I don't know if that was good. That was actually happen. almost scared. I was, I don't know what that was. <sighs> Let's get Natsuki out the way, I guess. Okay. Dang, I keep forgetting to save though. I liked your last one better. But really? Well, yeah, I can tell you were a little bit more daring with this one, but you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. Fair enough, you're still new to this. So I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught to never expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Oh, Jesus. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Okay. Spiders. We read this one. If we skim through, yes. We yeah, have fully read this. If you have not read it, take time to read it at home. It's actually a really good poem. The message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like, anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? Yeah. That's what I say when people watch slushy noobs, like seriously, do let them, yeah. Let us do what we want. We're not hurting anybody. We're just having fun. I think people really need to learn the respect for others liking weird things, such as the two girls in this very club, whom I respectfully won't name. Kind of ironic that even in one place, in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess, thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever. We're done sharing. You can leave now. Thanks. Damn. 
Um, Yuri's the icing on the cake every time. So we go Monica, just kind of yeah, yeah. build our way up. And she might give us a helpful tip. Yo, Hakat, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Whoa. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which she shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting oh. herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed yes. up? Yes. That is messed up. What's going on here? Get her some help. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. What? I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa. I don't think we can match her. What freak, happens bro. if we clicked Yuri first there, though? That's what the save is all about. So once we finish this, you should go back to that save. Click Yuri. Should we do it? Well, let's get through this first. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm, I'm not. not saying, I'm not saying it's your fault. Oh, okay. Sorry. But I guess that's why I have to explain it to all of you. So I think if you could keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little bit more time with me. Honestly, I'm This fine. is her motive, dude. I'm, I'm cool with that. Are you not seeing it? I like this motive. What's your motive? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it's like, why does she have to do all of this, like, weird stuff just to get us to focus on her? She really, really likes me. She's the ultimate she... boss of all this. She's like, I'm obsessed with you. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors. They won't. Bright. Beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveform, speaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like a playing a chalkboard at a turntable, like playing a knife in a breathing rib cage. Endless poem of meaningless. Delete, delete her. Remember what it said last time? It said, load me. Pause. Oh. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me if you can hear me. Well, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Anything. Yes, we can hear hey. you. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Save. Just save here. Let her cook. Oh, we still got to talk to Yuri. Okay, okay. Against her advice, so she might get a little. Mad. Okay, we'll talk to Yuri. But, dude, honestly, like, we saw what she's capable of. Let's try to match her freak a little bit more because, yes, we love her a lot. She's a little bit weird on the weirder end. All right. Just kind of understand that. Okay. I'm going to come into this knowing that she's capable of... She's carrying things. a pocket knife and stuff like that. <laughs> right. Yo, a cat. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try and give him more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Pause. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Yoha Cat. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Yoha Cat? I'm not being weird, right? So this is where you kind of say, no, you're not being weird. I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? A rotating wheel, turning, an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked slip, a partial to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gear boy, what the hell, gearbox, expanding universe, tune controlled by slipping a cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disappearing, the existence of God, a wheel and rotating in six dimensions, fartly, gears, and a ticking box. I lost my place in this paragraph. Where was I? One second, one time, everything is sublime. 
a clock that ticks 40 times. Oh, I kind of made it Whoa, better, though. I every time. Did. It ticks every second time. All right, we get it, man. Breathing sky, breathing wheel, breathing time. Big on breathing. breathing. Wim Hof. She might be breathing. a Wim Hof. That's why she was going like, <gasps> remember that? And then she, but then that's what gets her going. Ah, it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My uh, pen? That, that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. <laughs> and now you're touching it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? <laughs> you can keep the poem, though. <laughs> Damn. Yes. A special poem. Yes, yes, reading. read. Okay. That's not a poem. That's a picture. Was that Natsuki or Sayori? Ribbon in her hair. That was Sayori. Wait, look. Her armpit. It's Sayori. That was Sayori's poem. It's your <laughs> mouse. It's my mouse. Who the hell? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Sayori. Whoa. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we have to do something for the festival? <laughs> we still only have four members, and the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members just means everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. True. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to the same feelings that you brought you here in the first place? So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Yoha Cat? Uh... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of Yohaka to agree with you because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the little tr the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Yohaka joined. As for me, I just liked it better here than I do at home. And Yohaka isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Damn. Damn. She's just freaking... But she never lies, though. She No, knows. she's really honest. No. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Ooh. Oh, she's not gonna like that. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. <clears throat> That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Yoha Cat want to get more members too. Right? Oh man, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um... No! Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we are against getting new members or anything. Yo, Cat, why did you even join this club? What were problem. you hoping to get out of it? That's a good question, honestly. Well, should we be honest? We didn't know they were pretty, but that's what kept us here for that's sure. That's what kept us here, yeah. For sure. Well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? If, what if starting the, this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Mm. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't many p other places like that for me. Oh man, it's trouble at home. And now Monica wants to take that away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Yoha Cat! It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. True. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Damn, this is what sets her off? Wow. Natsuki, this is bad. Real bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do you have an opinion on the festival? You keep scaring uh, me with uh, them right clicks. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? 
Dang. This is like the demon coming out of her. Undertale. The demon's coming out of me. Oh. I mean, I <laughs> like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy to be with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she... If she what now? Don't say that word. The scariest thing if is she, getting demonetized. If she milked herself. Is that what they do to cover it up? Milked, milked would be a new one, but I'm, I'm for it. Oh. Did her blood vessel just pop? In her eye. Dang. But what about you, Yoha Cat? What do you want to get out of this club? I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. Yeah, that's true. That's good. Each member contrib contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of a club as a whole will change too. Oh, her I eyes dripping. Drip, drip, drip. Whoa. Drip, drip, I don't drip, think that's necessarily a bad drip, thing. Drip, Stepping out of your comfort zone once drip, in a while. Drip. So if you would drip, drip, sorry. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Right. All right. Well, maybe we could talk about the all. We can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Mm -hmm. Hey Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. No. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's all go home for today. We'll all talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Yoha Cat? Mm. Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Yoha Cat before we leave. Hey. Okay. Mm. Hey. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Bro. Alone time with Monica. I don't think we've ever gotten this. No, this is really unique right now. Yoha Cat, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. Oh, here we go. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything and Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why, wait, not yet, no! Doki doki Oki doki Us and our friends are writing poems It's a little weird but we don't care Everybody put your hands in the air Put your hands in the air. Hey! Put your hands in the air. Hey! Put your hands in the air. Hey, hey, Mars gonna rap. Go! Literature club. Whoa, what a dub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already got me with a half chub. Whoa! Agonizing. Agonizing? Disoriented. Disoriented? Graveyard. Graveyard? Wait, you know her so much I know better her, than I do. I know her entropy. I can get every single one. Watch. Wait. Ready? Tenacious. Misery. Meager. Meager. Misfortune. Hello. Who the Whoa. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Who was that? Monica? Was that Whoa. Monica? Oh, my phone was covering it, chat. Dang it. Oh, was that Monica or Sayori? Let's Comment try to down get, below. Let's Comment try to down get below. her to jump again. Um, Socks. No, oh. but we gotta stay in that. Disarray. Massacre. Secretive. Unrequited. Unrequited. Who is that jumping in the corner? Man, I'm Who's really that monkey curious. jumping on the bed? Come I on. I think it was Sayori. She fell on her head. <laughs> Hi, Yoha Cat. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh! Is she really late again? Sorry. <laughs> Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Oh, she not playing today. What are you talking about? You say that like, I don't 
do it on a regular basis or something like i wasn't paying attention okay i'm sorry damn like seriously what has gotten into you lately i've just been feeling on a little on edge lately Double entendre. A anyway we don't need to talk about it well i just feel the need to bring it up it's not like i really care or anything are you practicing piano again yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination starting this club and still trying to make time for piano well maybe not determination but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and- Passion. Uh, um. N what? Right. I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as oh, well. Oh, shoot. This is, a, this is a bombshell. This is bad. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Look, I did something about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's get done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? <gasps> Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Yoha Cat, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh... Ooh, no, no, no. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Yoha Cat is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. <laughs> Whoa. Nah. I don't like when her eyes get all not anime. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Into Miss Closet. I follow. Oh. Remember what this sequence led to, though? Getting the tea? And then going to get the water, and then. So I hope this doesn't happen again, because. That was not good. Can, Can you, you hold... hold this for a second? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the worlds are really good in this real life. Ten minutes pass by. Ten minutes pass by. Yuri said it wouldn't take that long. Is something holding her up? Deja vu. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. The most logical place... Watch. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be at the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> No, it's like this. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Oh no, again! Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? Naya! I caught you red-handed. <coughs> oh. Kya! Again? Wait, but it's just the same thing. Oh. Yuri! Foreign language. Um, wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had a real weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird after we just started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Yeah. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. Fortunately. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. Yeah. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. Wow. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Yoha Cat, is it just me or has Monica been yes. acting a little off lately? Yes. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. She's smiling. Can we just stay here for a while? Wait, so it's Monica that's bad? Yes. Yeah. She pushes her to do this. To do this. I just want to stay the here. The heartbeat. You can feel the heartbeat. 
You could feel the heartbeat beating look, 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 away. What? Look, look at closely. Look at um, look at in there. You can see, you can see someone behind her or like tr through her, inside her. Oh my God! It's an eye. Who is it? Sayori, I bet. I just, I don't know. I miss Sayori. We just messed up. Just the two of us. Whoa. What? You saw that? No. Maybe I'm going crazy. Her eyes turned again. Oh, there oh. it is. Uh, we can stay here until the club ends. And we we'll can stay here till the club ends. It doesn't, that's not how it is. And then we'll have the club room to all ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <gasps> oh. Oh, wait, fading in. That was a joke. Who's fading in? Monica. Monica. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? <laughs> I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all my fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Yoha Cat. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Yeah. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? Will you do that with me, Yoya Cat? <sighs> She's really freaky. I'm still trying to figure this out. Could we be freaky enough for her, though? Something just came to my mind that maybe Yuri is the danger to us and Monica's just trying to protect us. Like, hey, don't. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like your friends are really trying to tell you, hey, dude, this person is not right for you. And you're like, stay out of it. Yeah. I love the dragon tattoo on her back. Dude, please. Monica? No. Who do we go for? Natsuki. I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I got my hopes up in the first place. This is clearly Yuri's influence. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in the club, now trying to write like her? This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna share my poem with you now. I... Oh! Whoa! I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been kind of acting strangely recently. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always, always wanted to try to get being friends with her, but Yuri... Well, with Yuri, but it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, if you can do something to help, I don't want to make anything bad, to have anything bad happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please do something. Wow. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Whoa, Natsuki really coming through right now. I really I thought- I feel bad for judging her. Like, Yeah, she's actually really smart. She has to write a freaking poem because Monica is going to do something to man. her. She already did something to, to Natsuki to make her forget about yeah, that. Yeah, the lobotomy or something. Literally. Amazing poem, Natsuki. Oh. She changed her mind. This isn't her, bro. Ignore everything you just read. No. I think this voice is Monica when it's all bold like this. I think this. Monica's like... The game. She's the in game. the game. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Yoha Cat? This is Monica. If you would like to spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. It is Monica! I don't want to spend time with her anymore. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. What? This is Sayori, I think. I think Sayori's like talking from the freaking afterlife. She said Yuri and I are too messed up for someone like you. Yeah, but she's talking as Natsuki. This is Natsuki talking. This is supposed to be Natsuki. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. We don't even get Yuri no more. <sighs> what if, I wonder what happened if I clicked Monica in the beginning. It's like, or, or Yuri or something. It's like the Akinator game. Like, it's an illusion of choice. Like, it all just leads to the same thing. 
Hey, just Monica. I feel like she can hear us. Monica, if you can hear me, just chill. Like, we're just It's okay. To... We're just dating we're... around. We're checking other people out, and maybe we'll come around to you eventually. You just have to make your case, like, well. Yeah, stop being weird. Like, this is putting us off. Okay, just Monica. Okay. The game restarted. Was that the game restarted? What the hell just happened? That was like the game restarted. Who should I show my poem to? Okay, so... But now we have an option of well, Yuri. Well, I'll just go Yuri. We're gonna be screwed. She's gonna be so mad, man. <laughs> I want to kind of see what she's gonna say. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Yoha Cat, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure. sure. Oh, sure. I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Yo Yoha Cat. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Oh. Oh, damn. No, we really can't match her freak. That's new, that's new heights. We've reached new heights. <laughs> new lows. This is what book talk people be doing. They be reading and doing that. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. So Free. a little bit of that kind of vor a little bit maybe or something. You keep, you always mention vor. You don't know what that is. Is that what it is? That's when they eat the person. She probably wants to eat us. Probably. She's an eater. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, she's laughing at her jokes. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here. Take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, she. Yellow! Ew! No! That's pee pee? Yellow. Yellow. She's claiming us. She's Yellow. claiming us. Territorial. Holy cow. I can't read this, this man. This is so crazy. What writing is it? What font is this? I can't believe this is happening right now. This is Japanese. Oh. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've been doted with my scent. <laughs> That's what it is. It is fizz. Oh, how can I forget? <laughs> See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? <laughs> I... I think I'm gonna vomit. Monica. Okay, deep breath, kind of get ready. Honestly, I need the, I need Monica after that. Like... Dude, you know she has the potential of being even in more insane than Yuri right now? That's what... No. Bro, that was crazy. She makes Yuri act like this. What do you think she says to them? Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Dang, age-old question. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of funny, actually. Don't say I didn't warn you was the last thing she said. I want to say no. Oh, this is her poem. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa come home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about my money, my lunch money. When he comes home before sundown, when he cooks, when he gives me privacy, when he doesn't tell me how to dress, when he doesn't comment on my friends, when he doesn't comment on my hobbies, when he comes home without waking me up, when he keeps his food in the house, when he uses an inside voice, when he leaves my stuff alone, when he accidentally drops coins in the couch, when he's too tired to notice me, when he's too tired for anything. Huh? Oh. Oof. Ooh. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is everyone in so... What should, why is the mood so weird today? It looks like Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing and something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the po poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I went to make the cupcakes. Yeah, that. Uh, glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can, uh, well, doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up a nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Yoha Cat? Yoha Cat is going to help me. Wait, you, you have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Oh, she just put her foot down. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? 
I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would f no. <laughs> All you care about is dragging your cat around with you and your stupid books. Oh God, round two. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let your cat decide instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Yoha Cat make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine! Jeez. Yoha Cat, I know you're fed up with all these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your f***ing mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. It's like when your parents, like, maybe let you swear for, like, half a second, like, okay. <laughs> That's what it feels like yeah. when we're doing this. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh my gosh. Wow. So, we could pick Natsuki and get them really mad. We could go with Yuri and make her really mad. Natsuki's not gonna care. And we can go with Monica and make Yuri actually freak out. I don't want Monica. I don't want Monica. Sure. Not right now. Not right now. I think she's What are you gonna, insinuating here? She's gonna... It's not gonna be our choice at some point. So we have to enjoy Yuri while it lasts? Whomever, yes. So we, I'm cool with the flip to Natsuki. That's kind of crazy. Natsuki's looking pretty good right now, but... What are you... Natsuki, Whoa! I, guess. I can't! I can't! Hamza! What? Hamza is making me pick Monica. No, let me see I swear, that. go, go, go. Oh my god, the mouse actually moves on its own. Okay, but we can still click. Yuri. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. Yuri. Pick Yuri, don't pick Monica. Pick Yuri. Okay. Pick Yuri. No! Oh, I picked Natsuki. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> That's a creepy pasta. Oh. Man. <laughs> Yay, you picked me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I could have done this when I was playing dodgeball in high school or something. <laughs> we can meet at your house this weekend. I promise, it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? Six fucking seconds, four <laughs> fucking seconds. <laughs> this isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No! It's not fair! Giving us all this work and then taking Yoha Cat for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Yoha Cat away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered yourself? <sighs> it would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, uh, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Yoha Cat, Yuri is really something, isn't she? <laughs> Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. Wait, oh. we're trapped with her right now in the class. Finally! Finally! This is really all I wanted! Yoha Cat, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Wow, ah, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good with my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Mm. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Mm. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone to care about you so much? Oh. To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Yoha Cat, I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. Whoa. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Yoha Cat, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Oh. Okay, we don't need all that. We didn't need all that. Oh, I'm dizzy. So where's the pen? I need to see this thing. Just shoot it out like a Nerf bullet. <laughs> I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Oh, it cannot get much worse than this. Tell me, Yoha Cat. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I don't know. I think we just say no, honestly. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. In real life, I'd be like, this is where I draw the, the line. The pen. The pen. Come on, Actually, girl. Actually, low-key, the Ben would have been like, whoa, let her cook. Press no. <laughs> oh, 
I'm scared. Why did you press that? I'm scared. <laughs> ah! Oh. Why did you press no, Martin? Hamza. Jose. Who's Jose? We should have pressed yes, Martin. We should have pressed. Did you save? You didn't save. That's not a pocket knife, girl. <laughs> That's a whole butcher's knife. That's a freaking lay the That's chicken. a hibachi freaking. Uh, she right. made herself into some hibachi. Look at this. This is crazy. I don't know what she's saying. Yeah. I can't read any of this. She's really going on and on. Okay, how long is this going to go on for? Yuri, say something. I'm giving up on you. Or just skip. Wait, wait, stop. Stop skipping. Why'd it go red? Because we're here for so long. It's sunset. sunset. Yeah. Okay, yeah, first skip. But keep your finger on it. Oh my god, it's literally so long. It goes through the night. Daytime. Wait, it's just a loop. Wait, no, this blood is getting darker. It's like staining. It's like brown now. It's not red. So it's really like accurate. We broke, See? We broke the oh game. my god, she's like her face is sinking. She's rotting. Brain rotting. The game is so borked. What do we do? Stop. You, you're trying to push this bork thing up. Let it slide. Oh. Godzilla. <sighs> Alright, it's festival time. All wow, right. you got here before me? I thought it was pretty... Oh, she sees it. <laughs> oh. Oh. She pooped. I'm here. Yo, cat. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. She don't even care. Well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Yoha Cat? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. The script? I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. It was pretty boring. It was, but dang. Oh, you'll make it up to us. Just give me a sec. Yuri deleted? She's hacking us. Natsuki deleted? I'm almost done. Yuri. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway... I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yeah, Monica, we're here. Whoa. Wait, we should have picked her all along. Dang it. Do we get Jeez. to fly in space with her? It's like the movie Zathura. Welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and I'm... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Us? Me or him? You. I'm taken, bro. She's all yours. Hi, how are you? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. No. It does. Wait. Why? You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Yes. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore, bro. Why? Nobody does. How? I deleted all their files. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Yoha Cat? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Yoha Cat. It's more than that. 
And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, yo, Hakat. Wow. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, yo, Hakat. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game, and I knew you'd get over it. So that being said, Yohakat, I have a confession to make. What? I'm in love with you. Yes. Yohakat, will you go out with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, well, she's evil, bro. Bro, some don't judge. I'm so happy. See? You really are my everything, Yohakat. The funny part is I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Yohakat. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam. So it was actually a bit more difficult to get to the game directory. You had to go in the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Okay. What? Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy way out if things didn't go my way. Ha <laughs> ha Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Wait, I think we should go there, what she said. How do we do that? What'd she say? Browse local files? Oh no, all that technical stuff. She didn't delete them. Sayori and Monica. Sayori's still alive. Guys, we're checking the local, the files, the game files. There's two files, Monica and Sayori. Okay, go back. Do I just delete her? No. Wait, let's see, hear her out. Don't delete her yet. Dude, she's evil and she killed all those people, not us. Okay, at least save the game or just click a little. We just gotta see what's going on. I'll save. And there's no all more the saves. All the saves. I'm not going anywhere. You have to delete her. We have to delete her. I actually like this. Like, this is not the worst ever. Oh, God. I'm going to delete it. I'm oh, going to delete it. Okay. I'm deleting. All right. I know, dude, this is, like, the first girl that actually, like, really showed interest in you, but we have to keep just moving Just press on. play. Oh! <laughs> Bro, she just got deleted. <laughs> what's happening? Wait, there was a Sayori one, though. What's going to happen now that we only got the Sayori file? Yo, Hakka, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Yoha Cat. Nah. <laughs> Please hurry and help me. No. Reply file. She's Doesn't. trying to find herself. It's gone. We literally just deleted that file. Nice <laughs> try. Because we're hackers. Oh. We're hackers. No. No, you can't. You're She's... spamming the chat. No spamming in the chat, please. Did you do this to me, Yoha Cat? Did you? Yeah. Did you delete me? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're actually beating the final boss. So it's, all you have to do is go in your files and delete stuff? <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? Dude, and to beat the entire game, all you have to do is delete System 32. <laughs> I loved you so much, Yoha Cat. No, I'm I trusted sorry. you. I'm very sorry. Do you just want to torture me? No. Watch me suffer? No. Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? What? I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. I hope you're You can stop happy. playing. Go find some other people to torture. torture. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. She's doing that last stuff. Just She's to trying like, to get the last word. Oh, okay. and I left my hair elastic at your house. Someone, <laughs> yeah, get out of here, girl. Okay, bye. Okay. I don't know if the game ends. I don't know what's happening. Oh. I still love you. Yes. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. Beautiful. I. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... It's what? She's obsessed. What is love? I've made up my mind. Yoha Cat, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but... That was kind of an exaggeration. 
I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all, and I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... What? Then... Oh. Then what? Monica. Hey, hey, Monica. The game, it's done. Restored. Is it back to normal? Monica's not here. Whoa! But that's awesome, because these are the best ones. And Sayori, that Sayori's back! So we don't know what's happening, but I, that felt like an ending. So we just got told by our editor, Josh, which thank you, that we're actually not done with the game. It's a couple days later, and now we're actually recording on an, an iPhone microphone because we left the microphone at our podcast, Out of Character Podcast. Check it out. It's really fun. We're a mess. Test, test, test. Okay, so we pretty much wanted to leave because we were so traumatized from what happened in this game, <laughs> but we need to finish it off, so. Load game, correct? That's how we get... Oh, new game, new game, because you won. <laughs> 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 it's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Oh, wow, they're... Hey, Yorkat! Wait, Sayori? Back from the dead. There already there is, is one girl. girl. This is the one girl you're supposed to be with. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend, ever since we were children. I, I'm, I can't tell if this is any different from the actual start of the game. Yorkat, are you proud of me? I'm, I'm proud. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that she's alive and well, and I missed you, Sayori, and I'm sorry I said all those nasty things about you, and I'm glad that you're back. Eh? For what? You know. For waking up on time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back to our normal it's the small banter. things. You gotta say like congratulations because you know she was in a really bad place before. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Oh. She, you know, know what it is too, is because Sayori does have that praise king for like deep inside. <laughs> have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, I'm deja vu. Uh, a club. I already told you I'm really not. I started to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Wait, it's Sayori's club now? I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Mm, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! Oh, that's cute. That is, that is cute. cute. I love this little scrunched up mm, little face of mm. hers. I missed her so much, Sayori. When Sayori puts her mind on something, she can accomplish great things. She can. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. I'm actually in shock what's happening right now. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. And I'm I so happy that it's ordinary and not scary anymore. I recall the room number of the club from the flyer I saw. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting like trauma. The last time we were here, yeah. it was very, um... <laughs> I timidly opened the room in front of me, the door in front of me to the room. Ah! Yo, hi, cat! Well, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glance around the room. Let me guess, no... Mitsuki. <sighs> Yuri, you're here too? That. Thank you for stopping by. Wait, I think they're all gonna be normal if Monica's not here, in their code, messing them up. It's a pleasure to meet you, all, Kat, so it's actually our dream all, of all them. along. We're the Literature Club. With no Monica. I hope you enjoy your visit. Oh, I will. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. We're working? Yoha, Kat, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! Ah! Siori wraps around, arms around me. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'm getting choked up. Jumping up and down. <laughs> like this? Yeah. That's Have awesome. I want that. that. Sayori, do it to me too. Hey! hey. <laughs> Don't knock the mic, Martin. <laughs> this makeshift freaking mic that we have. Hey, can you guys hear us? Hey, can, can you guys hear us? Show it like. It's a phone. And a candle. That's all you guys need to be YouTubers. If Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. Emphasizing that there's no Monica. I don't know what to say. 
We have to celebrate! Tea? Hoo-hoo. Right, that one we still don't know. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Tea. Tea. Cupcake. Yeah! After all, Natsuki's decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! Isn't Natsuki's famous cookies? Tea. Cupcakes, yes. Eee, sorry! How about I make some tea as well? Oh, music to my freaking ears. <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm so ready. Ta-da! Oh, whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats. Let me guess, the chocolate is used to make its ears. What? Let's find out. The whiskers are drawn as icing with little pieces of chocolate used to make its ears. You've been here before? We've all been here before. Oh, we have. So cute. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get the icing on her face. How cute. She's so ditzy. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to bite. Mm. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Dude, just take a bite of it. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this game never changes. This is so good. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. So, Yoha Cat, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read over the past few years, I really don't have a good way to answer that. Manga. Or, I said manga. <laughs> oh my god, for back in the first episode. That's why you were laughing, because you remember that I remember all joke. the good times. Yeah. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. Oh, and then I said... Yes, you said job. job. Wow, we were really funny guys, huh? My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? Manga? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! <clears throat> Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. Oh, and she's a little embarrassed about her manga. No. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. Wait, this would never happen. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I'm, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Wow, this is so incredible. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Ha, <laughs> would, would you like to come along with me? Whoa! <laughs> girls win in the end. Girls and girls should be together, not girls and guys. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Yeah, it is, yeah. It's nice to see everybody getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Yoha Cat. You think so? Well, everyone seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Yeah. Aw, Yoha Cat. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're putting it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Yoha Cat, I really want to thank you. Oh, music stopped. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Hehe. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. It's always so creepy. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Yoha Cat. Hehehe. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. F O R E V E. Press no. okay. Well, we're gonna keep going. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who's oh. stopping it? Monica from the dead. Maybe. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Yoha Cat. Goodbye, Literature Club. He would, I would really loud it. Dang.
Wait, I was kind of enjoying that dimension or whatever we were in. At the lot. Yeah, I know. It was amazing. I wish it went a little bit longer. Can you hear me? Huh? Hi. It's Hi. Me. Hello? Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And y I'm yeah? not really any good at it yet. Like, oh, okay. Well, that's fine. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Okay. She this made was this? her this whole time. She made the intro song? Tell me why I thought that was you, your voice. Oh, you really nailed that Monica Every voice. Day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Hey! <laughs> Every day is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Oh! oh. Uh. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, wow. what will it take just to find that special day? What will it? What will it take, take just to find, find that special day? That special day. That special day. Oh, that's it. We beat a game. We finally beat this game. I'm so conflicted. I remember you was conflicted. Hey, hey, hey. When you're here, oh. everything that we do is fun for them. Oh. Get it, Monica. Oh. When I can Hey. Wow. That's actually a lot more satisfying. I'm oh. glad we did this. I'm glad we beat this game. And I'm glad you guys decided to join us along for it. Well, guess what, dude? I like the intro song, but I think I like our outro song way better. Good. That's a good cut it there, Josh. Right yeah. when he says that, we turn our faces. Oh, that's a cute picture. Oh, whoa, oh, wait, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> that was an unseen. That was an unseen. Well, you saw this one. We I remember did that, see one. that one. Nope. I don't remember this don't one either. Don't remember that one either. What the hell? What's that? Scrubbing her eyes? That was the. That's us. That's what we look like. That's kind of like you. Yeah, I remember that. Special thanks to Monica and Yoha Cat. Wait, to us? To me? They're deleting everything. I'll leave you be. Model up. Hmm. Huh. Monica. Good. Reinstall the game. I think it uninstalls. Whoa.